Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answerman. Hi guys, this is Julie from Australia, aka Stuff Ups. Just ignore those if you've heard them, but anyhow, um, I'm playing the Red Eye Tournament in the next couple of weeks and I'm participating in a practice round. Um, I'm new to a big tournament scene and playing practice rounds of tournaments before. Um, I know that people play them differently, but what are some fundamentals that I should be ticking off when playing that practice round? Um, there is an island hole, so I might be playing that a couple of times just to see what disc I should be throwing on the island, um, let alone I don't have many discs anyhow. I'm just keen to get your advice on how to play that practice round. I'm definitely new to the tournament scene as well, so if there are any other points um, in terms of rules or just anything to a bigger tournament scene for someone that is playing in a novice division, um, thank you again, and keep it real. Awesome, think, guys. Awesome, Julie. Thanks. That's sweet. I know. I love that when we get... I mean, obviously, I love you guys from the United States, but just to know that our show is reaching yeah. overseas is a really cool thing. Well, she she lives in Kansas, but she's just from Australia, so that's All right, her. then that was an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> obviously joking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you treat your practice rounds? False. Yeah. <laughs> um, I treat my practice rounds exactly like a tournament round. So if, if I'm playing, uh, if it's a new course, obviously I'm going out and I am throwing two to three shots on every single hole yep. just to, you know, get all the variables down. And one big thing I do that I see a lot of players that don't do is I'll go out. It, it, I mean, granted, you know, if it's, if it's a super popular day and there's a bunch of people out there, this is a little bit more difficult to do, but I like to throw three to four tee shots on every single hole. And instead of picking up the bad shots and playing all the good ones, I play from every bad shot I got only because it, it, you know, when you, when you're out there, there's not as much pressure during the practice rounds. And let's say you go out and you just play all your good shots and you come in with a four or five under, you know, well, when you're not doing that during the round, it's super frustrating. Uh, it, it's just, it's just not good practice. Yep. You know, you need to, you need to really focus on throwing the, the, uh, the holes that are going to be more difficult for you. Uh, that way, when you're playing the event, you're not surprised to be in an area that you've never been before, like a, a certain part of the fairway or whatnot. But and as far as the fair, the uh, the island hole goes, I would absolutely go out there and practice that three, four, or five times, whatever it takes to get the shot down to where you know uh, you have the confidence to um, to succeed on that hole. Yeah, I agree. I I want to make sure when I go play a practice round that I leave with a plan, so I know. Assuming that the wind and conditions are at least close enough, I know mm -hmm. what disc I'm going to throw. I know what line I'm going to throw, so I don't have to use my brain on the tee at all. I have already made my decision. I just get up and throw. Uh, playing from worst lies is good, too, because you're going to have a more realistic expectation for mm -hmm. your round. And one thing that I do, I like to practice putt during a round, but I usually don't putt from the specific lie that I threw. And the reason for that is I don't want to go back through the round mentally and total up okay, well, I shot, you know, four or five under. Um, because then I have that expectation mm -hmm. for the next day. And then if you get off track of that, you're like, oh, man, maybe I need to push a little bit mm -hmm. to get a couple birdies that I wasn't planning on trying to get in the first place. I don't like to do that. I don't want to think of a number I want to shoot before a round. I just want to go and focus on the shot in front of me. And so yep. when I'm doing practice rounds, that's what I like to do. Make sure that I've got a plan and don't keep score. Yeah. And also while you're at the, you know, each hole, Throw a few more extra putts. Just throw yeah, like yeah. five or six, ten putts from each on each hole. Make sure your putt feels good. Different areas. That way, you by the end of the day, you've got a, a great amount of putting practice done during your round. I like it. 